Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again, and we are back with Ultimate Team episode number 24. Now, we're coming in the back of a, uh, a dodgy episode, really. We've got a draw, a win, and a defeat in Division 1. This is our first time in Division 1, obviously, and uh, we did get a 7-3 uh, victory in the uh, last episode, last game of the last episode, so definitely something to build on in this one. We come up against a La Liga toy... La, la La, 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 la. We come up against a La Liga side here in the first game of the episode and Benzema with a good shot in the first 10 minutes but Casillas does make a good save and he's got a very very good team actually Marcelo at left back, Casillas in goal, um, Pepe at centre back alongside Albiol who's probably the one weak point in, uh, his, in, in his entire team and Adrian going close there in the 10th minute again you know early pressure from us paying off quite well creating some nice chances but Casillas was keeping us out but he's not going to keep that one out carrying Benzema with an absolute thundering strike right in off that far post and uh, that put us 1-0 up in the first half and uh, Di Maria here with a, a scuffed effort and somehow Jesus Navas was on side in real time it looked as if he was uh, it was about 2 or 3 yards off but we won't argue we will take a 2-0 lead at half time and we've been pretty dominant look 62% possession 7 shots to his 2 so uh, thoroughly deserved lead in my opinion and uh, Navas here picks the ball up from Cesc Fabregas and here's where the Albiol is the weak point Benzema's pace is just too much for him to handle breezes past him and in the 69th minute that put us 3-0 up and uh, cruising really towards a first victory in this episode Benzema almost getting a hat-trick there with it bouncing off the post off the foot of the post but nonetheless we were able to take three points from this game a 3-0 victory and a very nice start to this episode and a nice confidence booster as well considering the way the last episode went but Freshening things up for the second game. Going to slop in, slop in, going to slot in the uh, Italian side. We come up against a different team, really. A 3-5-2 English all-bronze team. Now, obviously, you'll recognise players like Coke, Graben and uh, Jolly and uh, the centre-back from Notts County who's got 80-plus pace, I think. And the guy on the right, I can't remember his name from Shrewsbury, but he's got, like, 90-plus pace. And uh, ordinarily, you know, I would have presumed that this guy would have been quite good to be in Division 1 with this team. And, uh, you know, I have had problems in the past against all English bronze teams but this guy had one tactic as you can see from the previous highlight and this one it was get the ball run uh, that was it literally that was it all game long just get the ball and try and run wide all the way around the outside of everyone and uh, as soon as I figured it out it was easy to play against this guy Boateng there with a great strike into the top corner that OP near post shot really really coming to the fore there and uh he just couldn't cope with me, to be completely honest. I tried to play some uh, possession football, and obviously he was trying to go out wide because he's got a 3-5-2, but obviously with uh, only having three centre-backs, I could counter out wide as well. And again, just another highlight. It's just comical the way he just keeps... Just tried nothing else all game. Just kept going again and again and again around the outside. And uh, fortunately, I was able to cope with it because we do have a bit of pace out wide with Palacio and uh, Lichsteiner and Abate on the other hand, on the other side. So... Uh, it was easy to cope with and nearly went 2-0 up there with a free kick from Mickley. He did manage to get a man back on the line, but 1-0 up at half-time. But you'll see from the stats that uh, we were definitely on top. He may only have a bronze goalkeeper, but he was on form. You, uh, the stats will pop up on screen in just a second. You'll be, able to, you'll be able to see 15 shots, 15 on target and only one goal. So uh, his goalkeeper was definitely keep him in, keeping him in this game. And it was just more of the same second half. He just couldn't cope at all with uh, the football that we were playing and the pace that we were able to come at him with. And uh, Mickley again with another near post shot. Keeper this time unable to keep it out. And uh, Mickers is always going to finish in that sort of position. Give him any bit of space and uh, he's got the power and the finesse to be able to finish a very 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 nice effort and uh, that put us 2-0 up and uh, a couple of block shots here but Kevin Prince picks the ball up on the edge of the box and uh, a lovely finesse finish to pick up his second of the game and our third in the 75th minute and uh, again it was just an absolute cruise in this game this guy just could not cope with us at all and uh, Mick Lee whipping the corner in here for Cavani heading it off the post trying to make it four in the 88th minute and alas, he wasn't able to do so, but we do take a second 3-0 win of the episode. So we're making some nice progress. 24 shots, 19 on target, and only three goals. Wow. But uh, yeah, we are making some nice progress in this uh, in this Division 1 now after a dodgy start. And uh, we're coming to a third game of the episode now. Using the uh, the German side we built recently, they didn't have the best of times in uh, the first couple of games that we had in the division. But we, fingers crossed they were going to, uh, you know make up for it in this game we come up against this Brazilian side with Neymar and Pato and Wellington and Hulk and Ramirez and everybody's got ridiculously 
high pace stats but uh, early on we were able to take a good lead Gertz there with an unintentional dummy to be completely honest I tried to just run at it and turn but he missed the ball the defender missed the ball and Gertz was able to react quicker to get onto it to uh, put us 1-0 up early on but then he flew at me Ramirez with the ball in Hulk first touch and volley that is a fantastic goal to be completely honest and uh, definitely can't deny him that one 7 minutes in and it's 1-1 and then uh, Neymar plays a, a chip through ball to Pato with a good turn gets inside the defender and rifled it into the bottom corner I thought to myself oh no this German side isn't going to collapse again surely um, I did like the feel of the German side but they seem to feel just a little bit slower than everyone else. I had made a change actually in the centre midfield. I don't know whether you noticed in the uh, in the cutscene when you saw the uh, the the lineup before we went into the game. I've uh, I've sold Bastian Schweinsteiger for forty one thousand coins, so made a nice profit on him. And uh, I bought in Luis Gustavo uh, for like six hundred coins. Schweinsteiger was just that little bit too slow. And to be fair, Gustavo is having just as good an effect in central defensive midfield as Schweinsteiger was, and he's got that extra little bit of pace. So. 40 grand save to be completely honest and uh, Schürrle did put us bring it back to 2-2 actually there you did see at the end of the second half so we come well the end of the first half coming into the second half and uh, we were a lot better second half Royce here I would have shot with Royce if uh, I would have been able to get to the ball before it got too close to the line but he cuts it back and Schürrle is on hand to slot it into the back of an empty net to get his second and our third to put us 3-2 up and uh, Luis Gustavo here on his debut with a lovely header in the 61st minute, 61st minute to uh, make it 4-2 and uh, we were dominant now you know this uh, the guys Brazilian team was lacking a little bit of fitness so uh, that really paid as the uh, as time went on and Royce here uh, obviously not renowned for his heading he is renowned for his uh, amazing dribbling skills but getting up well there from that corner to power a header into the bottom corner right into the bottom corner in fact to uh, make it five and then Gertz he getting through one-on-one -on -one. he rushed his keeper out unfortunately for him uh, the ball did squirm loose to Andre Schurler who pops the back pops the ball into the back of an open net again and uh, that makes it 6-2 and his hat-trick and that is how that one finished so uh, some good progress now actually in Division 1 you know after a really dodgy start we've actually picked up 9 points from 9 there and you'll see it on screen in just a second uh, we will bring up the league table after having a quick look at the stats Schurler and Royce they're both getting a 9.6 fantastic ratings and uh, really pleased with how the German team did in this game actually coming back well from the disappointment of the first few games so uh, and on top as well 64% possession and twice as many shots very very good stuff from this German side I was thinking about getting rid of them but I definitely won't now I will keep them for a bit so as you can see then 13 points we've got four games left and we need seven points so we need to get uh, two wins and a draw from those four points we can afford to lose one but hopefully we can just win three on the bounce and continue this winning run and uh, power straight to a division title first time around so uh, please leave the video a like guys if you did enjoy I know sub boxes have been a bit dodgy recently so please do leave the video a like and a comment let me know that you've seen it and enjoyed it and uh, I'll have a career mode, career mode episode for you coming out on Monday so thank you very much for watching guys I will catch you next time